a firm departure from my previous work, The Red Shepherd, towards a new image of Demuzid, introduces the reader and ritualist to the paradoxical god Demuzid, or Tamuts, as he is often known, who made an appearance within the course of rituals from Rod and Ring. However, this time, that introduction is much more comprehensive. Now, the old concept of the dying and rising god has taken on a life of its own that is often misunderstood when the cultural context is overlooked in academic material or the speculative work of folklorists such as James Fraser. Thankfully, academics such as Franz Wiggerman, Dinah Katz, Joanne Skurlock, Gwendolyn Lake, and even Irving Finkel have brought so much to the table that has completely transformed what we know about the Mesopotamian peoples today. Now, outside his role in the descent of Inanna, Demuzid has a much more complex nature in the grand scheme of things as conceptualized in the hearts and minds of the ancient peoples who worshipped him in Mesopotamia, the Levant, and even in parts of the Mediterranean, where echoes of his cultic practices surrounding him are found in the cult of Adonis. Demuzid is not just a substitute for Inanna in the underworld, he's also a god of the underworld who is described as second to Arishkagal herself. A shepherd and exorcist of spirits, he's a divine healer who banishes disease to the depths of the Thonic realm. He's a son of Enki, the wily god of exorcistic magic and mystery. He's the guardian of the gates of heaven, and curiously, a Luciferian figure embodying both temptation and taboo who also advocated for the quote-unquote Sumerian Adam to be given the divine food of eternal life. Now, in addition to the mythology and liturgy, which does include transliterations of the Sumerian language, there is a great deal of practical ritual from spirit compulsion and exorcism and yes, even Malefica. Now, it is my hope that the same ecstatic and bewildering God I have come to know in my own praxis presents his emanation or epiphany in the life of the ritualist who speaks the words in this book aloud and with each spoken word breathes life into a contemporary diffusion of Demuzid's complex historical cult. After all, the cult that adapts is the cult that survives. The 2023 Collector's Edition is limited to approximately 1,000 copies. It's 5.25 by 8.25 inches, 192 pages, hardbound 100 points, halfbound in rust, stone-like textured material, and iridescent weave ivory colored buckram book cloth, bronze foil blocking on the rounded spine, bronze and white foil stamping on the front cover, carmine red, plus a black interior with vermilion-colored textured end papers, a dark brown headband and tailband. This book is fully illustrated by Rowan E. Cassidy, with fine topography, design, and layout by Joseph Uccello, a preface by ceremonial magician Alexander F., the host of the Glitch Bottle podcast, and has been printed on Fedragoni's Free Life Kendo White 150 GSM paper. This comes with a numbered tipped-in carton plate signed by the author. If you're a new viewer and would like to stay up to date with the latest from Bibliosophia, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for our channel.